Okay, we're watching the... Uh... I love that. Yeah, it took a while to create this video. It's like Banksy almost. <laughs> All right, well, normally during a show, we wouldn't be talking over. As a matter of fact, the live, I wouldn't turn the mics on live until we get to the end. Yeah, but no, I for, for demo purposes, I wanted to do it like this. I won't talk till you introduce me anyway, you know? <laughs> no, <laughs> well... We're, doing, we're, we're being a little bit different today. Okay, so here we are. I'm now broadcasting it full screen, which is both of us. And uh, this is our demo. It's our first demo since we did our first show uh, of Navigating the Apocalypse last year. Uh, shortly before, I think, all hell broke loose, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, God. I, I, yeah, we'd have to go back in our timeline and see exactly when this was broadcast and, and, and what exactly happened right after. Uh but it's uh with our first show which we're going to, we're, we're going to be doing in in a week or so we'll uh get caught up with the changes that have happened over the year for better or worse uh but today what i'm doing basically is just showing how the site is going to work so right now i'm showing uh anthony can see just the two of us side by side but i can focus on him when i want to right now i'm i'm basically streaming him all by himself this split screen now has me uh, on focus, and then I have a split screen where the guest is focused, which is right here. And the other thing that we have, which I happen to mention uh, before, is that there's a chat. And so there we have, if we're doing a live show, uh, the chat will come up. And let me type something in and show that it's actually working. Okay, there we go. I just sent a message to you. Hi, Anthony. So if we're if we're doing a, a show and people are watching us, I see you're you're bouncing around over there. Your camera's going. I'm trying to crazy. figure out how to best position myself while I'm while I'm talking. <laughs> yes. Okay. So at any rate, we can now uh, look at the. Uh, you can't see the chat, but the audience is seeing the chat. There we go. Yeah, I see the chat box. Okay, so now you can actually see the chat while we're doing our show. Um, yeah. And it's also being broadcast, but they can't see us. What they basically, I'm doing this so that the Zoom audience, the Zoom, you know, attendees, whether it's you or a bunch of people, can actually see the chat as part of their stream. So in case they're not, they don't have a, um, a, a computer open with the live stream going. Which you can do. I mean, you can set up a, a a computer and watch the broadcast go down live, see the chat for yourself. But I'm I'm able to add it to the uh, broadcast so that somebody that's participating uh, as a guest will be able to you know periodically see the chat and respond to the questions that are there. Well, there's no chat so now because we're not doing it live, right? We're not going to do this one live, right? No, but I'm I'm doing it as a demo so that I can. Play mm -hmm. this back for you, and then if I wanted to show somebody else how the show works, um, I can just send them a copy of this link, and then they can watch and go, oh, yeah, so that's how it's going to work. Because a lot of people won't really understand how this show is being conducted until you actually mm -hmm. show them. It's one thing to describe things and say, oh, I can do this, I can do that. But then to actually be able to see it um, yeah. provides an entirely different perspective. So let's get back. Let me get back to my uh, meeting here. Like, for instance, if we're doing, uh, I talked about doing, being able to do slideshows. If we're doing slideshows and I wanted to have it, uh, you, you sent me images and you wanted to do a, a talk over slides, sort of like a PowerPoint, then I can yeah. have it set up in advance. And oh, okay. we could just, we can, you know, it's, I'm just, these are just backgrounds. I'm using these as my images. Yeah. But if, uh, if these were your slides and you wanted to discuss, for instance, different aspects of your work uh, or whatever it is that you wanted to show or somebody else wanted to show, then if as long yeah. as I have the cues for when to switch to slides or somebody said, okay, next slide, next slide, uh, then I can do it and we can conduct a, a full demonstration. If somebody sent me a video and they wanted to have a video playing uh, as part of their presentation, I can do that. And also, as I mentioned to you, we can do uh, Firefox. And I got something really special oh, to show you. Terry. 
I wanted to I wanted to have this yes. Uh and, yeah, and so you can see this. Let me let me get this thing going here. So let me play a little bit. You can watch. Uh you know, I guess in two ten and two thousand and ten, like up to the ascension proper. During the ascension proper in the two years after, now in twenty fourteen, we've been sort of on the pulse the volume is really low let me see what i can do about that it's a very very low signal on the old broadcasts i can see that now it's actually being broadcast at about half the level of some of the other shows that i i filmed so i may have picture to figure is great. that was the video that's our video so i i you know i just thought it would be kind of nice as part of this demo uh, to bring you yeah. and Terry back on, this was one of Aww. the landmark shows that we did. And yeah. uh, as you said, if you ever wanted to have excerpts from a show, uh, I could queue it up and then during the course of the broadcast, just have it yeah. set and ready to go and then we could show it. And this allows yeah, yeah. us to this allows us to narrate over the show so we can be quiet when we want to be quiet or show it when we want to show it. All of that energy started to come in and build. Okay, let's take a listen so to this for a minute. To 2012, we were at that 2012 mark, even though that was a sort of very interesting. I wonder what year this was that we did this, because you're talking about 2012. Uh, that sort of. Well, we're talking about divine feminine, and so you know. Yeah. And then after that, the first steps after that. I wonder where I found that. Where I found that backdrop? That's pretty extraordinary. Oh, you did amazing with that uh, Prima Agni when you did the video, took it apart, put it. Yeah, no, it's pretty. I pretty love that video. Did a lot of work on these videos, and that's the whole point now is to do these in such a way that um, they're instant shows. There's no real reason to have to edit. It goes down as yeah. it goes down, and if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. But uh, I don't have it's to worry real. about catching the last bus and all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know oh, that, that was, was so frustrating. That was one of the. Uh, uh, let me turn her. Off. Let's turn this off now. Hi, Terry. And, uh, yeah and let's go back to the full screen here so we're, we're we're together now um so that's kind of what we're going to be able to do and like i said uh we can do it we can do the split screen with the chat you can't see this but right now both of us are on the screen along with the chat box so that we can talk talk about the chat answer questions and the viewers will actually be able to see us uh right now you can't see with the screen that i'm broadcasting you only see the chat so which is fine i'm able to control what's going out to the real world the outside world with additional yeah. effects and screens and so forth uh okay because zoom zoom is a self-contained uh platform for doing what we're you know webinars and workshops and so forth you can broadcast from zoom but it's much better if you're broadcasting from a a, a, a much more sophisticated uh, streaming bla uh, broadcaster like a, mm -hmm. a open broadcaster, which is what I'm using, OBS. Okay. And it allows me to do things like improve the vocal quality. I can do lower thirds down the road if I ever wanted to do that. I, I'm able to create these sorts of effects and layering. Um, it's really quite, it takes a tremendous amount of time. I mean, it took me literally two months to get this thing set up to the point where it actually worked uh it, it's a, it not easy to get this stuff to to, <laughs> to work yeah and uh yeah uh, and so what, what'll happen is if we ever do something where it's there's a third guest what i would do is i would set up an entire uh template where the third guest is included like we're included once you go yeah. above three it becomes very messy and you're better off just broadcasting the Doing entire the Zoom meeting, Zoom, Zoom meeting yeah. and then using something that they call a focus, which is something that I can control where I can actually put any guest that's on the screen into focus so that they're all by themselves. Uh, but that's, Ooh. again, something that I control. That's not something that the guests control. And I think that yeah. that's kind of good because if there's one guest that you want to be able to – suppose you're doing a, a, a meeting with five people and you'd like to give somebody the opportunity to really be up front and to, you know, to give yeah. their, their little talk, then I can, I can put them into focus and they would be the only thing that people see. So there's a lot of flexibility right. with what we're doing now. And the sound is just – I'm just so thrilled to great. have these new – Sound uh, is great. And above all, I want it to look as nice and sound as nice 
to keep our guests excited and interested yeah. and hold their attention. I mean, the picture's great. You sound great. So, I mean, it's not shoddy. I just yes. see the outline by the image of around, right around your head. But, I mean, it's still pretty clear, you know. No, but that that's exactly what that is. That's the... Uh, yeah. That's the, uh, that, yeah, that's the eclipse. That's the solar eclipse that I have around my head. And yeah, it actually I, I, sort of works. I kind of used that last year for my first uh, navigating the apocalypse. I kind of felt like that it sort of fit into the whole apocalypse of the sun, you know, corona. <laughs> but you know, let's try it. Let's do it one more time and see. Well, okay? I see. And I want to find out. Uh, let me go here. I'm going to do the Bridge of Truth uh, intro. So that comes before right now, it's, it's, the apocalypse. No, no, right now, just as a test. You know, it's part of mm -hmm. this test. I already yeah. played the apocalypse video, so let's do the Bridge of Truth video. Okay, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So you'll do eight, a countdown, and I'll know seven, to get ready. Six, five. Well, I'm not actually four. I'm only doing it now for effect. Two, one. Okay. Blast off. <laughs> All right. Now, I, did you see the? Uh, did you see yeah. the trailer? And I heard it too. It sounded pretty good. Oh, but you did see it. Yeah, yeah, Fabulous. yeah. Okay, great. Just on the then, sides, on the very on the sides of the screen, it's in the, you know black. That's all you needed to see. Just you yeah. needed to see that it was there, so that people yeah. can see the countdown. They know what's going on, and I'll I'll keep the audio muted because I don't want, especially if you have a lot of people coming on at the last minute. You don't want to hear a whole lot of noise in the background when you're yeah. counting down the show. <laughs> you know, it's mm -hmm. just <laughs> not not good. So um, uh, anyway, uh, thanks so much, A. Eh? I think we've okay. You'll send me this. Well, you'll yes. Send me this. I'll send you the link as okay. soon as it's posted, uh, and then there's a, right. there's a close there's a closing screen. So as I end the as I end the show, it then goes.